Hi. I have a 2014 Nissan Frontier V6. I've had it quite a while. It's a great truck. I really like it. It's given me no problems at all. Except, it had the classic uh, rough idle. You're sitting at a red light, the steering column would actually vibrate. You know, and uh, there's nothing wrong with the truck. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Did a lot of reading online, and I guess the solution was to increase the uh, idle RPM. But you know, that's not easily done. You can maybe take it to a dealer, he might do it for you for a hundred bucks or more, and maybe he won't. So I've been trying to find a solution for that for quite some time, and I saw a video on, uh, on YouTube. This guy had a solution for that. So, uh, so I tried it, and it worked. This is not a how-to, and I'm not telling you you should do this, because, you know, you're making changes to the ECU, and you could screw it up. You know, things could go really bad. Things could go wrong. But I'll, I'll show you what I did, and it, it cured mine. First thing you need is an interface to hook up your, your uh, OBD port in your truck to an app that's going to be on your phone. And this is the one that the app recommended that you use. Maybe others that'll work, you know, I can't say. This was like 15 bucks on uh, Amazon, so it wasn't a big expense. And this plugs in the OBD port. You connect your truck via Bluetooth to an app on your phone. The app is a CVT, CVT-Z50. That's CVT-Z50. You get it in a Play Store. It's $4 plus tax. And this is kind of what it looks like. And it shows you a bunch of stuff you can do. I was interested in the uh, idle RPM right here. And when you click on that, uh, it gives you a choice starting at 25 RPM up to two or 300 RPM. Uh, that's from the stock idle, you know, up 50, up 75. So I got it all hooked up, got the, you know, you got it hooked up by Bluetooth, and uh, I selected 75 RPM. And uh, it worked well, but your motor has to be completely warmed up. If it's cold or if it's, you know, it's not completely warmed up and motor needs to be running, it, it won't work. So I, ch I chose 75 RPM and I drove it for a couple weeks and of course all the vibrating and all that was gone. But when you came to a, when you come up to a red light, come up to a stop, hell the R RPM is a little bit too high. You could, you could feel the transmission gearing down. You get a little surge. I thought, you know, that's probably not good for the transmission. So I went back in, I redid it. And I changed it to 50 RPM over the factory setting. And for me, that was a sweet spot. Uh, all the vibrating's gone, and you don't get that uh, rough gear down when you come up to a light. So it, it works. And actually, the program works. It worked for me. And now I got a truck that doesn't shake like hell when I'm sitting at a red light. And that makes me happy. But, uh, you know, you can try it if you want. That's purely up to you, you know. Uh, it worked for me. That's all I can tell you, and I'm really happy.